Chess friends, Leela Zero is dominating the world through her extraordinary chess skills, she recently played some chess matches against Alpha Zero, she showcased brilliance by sacrificing pieces, including her queen, this game is from one of the brilliant matches, so let's go, e4 e5 knight f3 knight to c6 and we have Rui Lopez, this is the Leela's favorite opening, many players here play a6, let me show you the variation, bishop a4 then g6, call deferred fumetto defense. This move is very rare but there is brilliant gambits which you can play in your games and send your opponent to valley of death, here we will sacrifice a pawn on d4, knight goes to d5, knight e7 targets this so play bishop g5 to pin it, b5 and you know what, you can capture the pawn or move the bishop away, if you capture the pawn, it's basically a knight sacrifice, knight can't beat his competitor in race because the queen will be helpless there. So after black captures it with the bishop we will sacrifice the queen on d4, black surprised and takes the queen but in just two moves, black will be checkmated, what a beautiful checkmate, did you ever checkmate your opponent with knight and bishop? In this position, you can also go with bishop b3, castle h4 king h8 h5, black responds with f6 to slap the bishop, but a spy entered to the king's territory with h takes g6, so we have knight takes g6, now play knight e5, which is attacked by three pieces, black have really no options, then we will sacrifice and another piece on h7, capture check, checkmate is unstoppable and black will be dead lost, now like my video because your smile gives me a reason to make these videos, just smile and play chess. Eat popcorn and watch my videos, chess is not stressful game at all, you will grow at chess by time and hard work, not by any hidden talent, most people talents are hidden and useless, that's why it is named as hidden talent, back to the position, we have g6, Leela played d4 early, capture bishop g5, bishop e7 was the good move but alpha 0 is alpha 0, he played f6, bishop h4 h5, alpha want to dominate the king side, so h3 queen e7, attacking to the pawn. Knight d2 move is weak at some point because black can play g5 then f5 to attack on the e4 pawn. This position will be very challenging for Leela Zero. She is a brilliant AI girl so escaped her king by playing castle. Now you can't capture the pawn because you will fall in a 69 LO rook trap. So in this position alpha played queen c5, take take e5. If you dare to capture the pawn then rook e1 will target the pawn on e5. You may try to protect the pawn with your bishop but after captured. Bishop to g3 will create a math problem in center, knight blocks rook takes e5 to target the queen, queen runs queen e2 to target it, rook here to protect it knight d2, another rook is coming, bishop here rook e1, bishop h4 is also coming to collect home tax from the knight, g5, a3 queen backs, rook takes g5 and black faces infinite of problems through. The rook and bishop, amidst trillions of stars cosmic glow, Queen and Rook dance, White claims the extra blow, how did you feel my chess poem? I am all rounder and do you know how many stars in the sky? There are 8,899,071 stars in the sky, if you can't believe it then count yourself, back to the position, we have g5, the f pawn is also coming to disturb the bishop, Leela knows very well how to handle rascal guys in public, she captured the pawn to sacrifice the bishop, inviting black to capture it then after check, if the king moves to f7 then after knight e5 check, the king can't go any of these squares because of the deadly Michael Jackson, he was a great athlete, I mean a dancer. So king takes pawn queen check, king g7 can't possible as the black will fall in a black hole, do you know if you somehow reach the center of a black hole then you can do time travel, if I had the option of time travel, I would meet Mikhail Tal, how about you? If you had the ability to time travel, which person would you choose to meet? Black time traveled and get the previous variation, if he play bishop to f5, then knight d7 will end your true love story, lands of sorrow, ocean of tears, valley of death and end of life, this is the full from of love, I am a philosopher also, back to the position, we have king d8, my Leela could play rook e5 to target the queen then f7 to make some problems, the d file is also in a danger, but she go with knight e5, try to make a fork, so alpha developed his bishop finally. Knight g6 to bombard the bishop and rook and you know what your king can't play castle because he moved once in the board, rook h6 take take, if you dare to capture the pawn, 
let me show you the variation, queen takes check, king runs queen f4, the knight got pinned, queen here queen f5, after a few sequences of moves, we will play knight d5 to attack to the knight, take 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 and that's it, you will lose the chess game by a girl, alpha zero bro, I can understand your pain. I don't know how she gradually gained chess skills and performance rating like 5000 LO engine, aha, I think she is my friend and subscribed to my YouTube channel, now it's your turn to subscribe my channel and defeat your chess opponents, people play chess to prove that he is an intellectual animal, he play with other players just to show that, my brain is better than your brain, so what, lol, back to the position, we have king d7 rook backs, rook d8 to act like he played castle, queen d3 to play queen f5. After king d6 queen e5 king d7 it will be a checkmate on e6 square, so pawn captured knight d2, king c8 rook e1, few moves later, black played queen g8 to create some troubles in the king side, rook captured rook here, queen e3 knight f7 knight c4, after a some sequences of moves alpha played rook e6, Leela says, want a threat to my queen. I give it to you, because I have nasty strategy to destroy your position and structure, this game is a very brilliant and fascinating, now enjoy. So wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.